Okay, everybody, I have a new book to go um, flip through today. It's called Big Hair Art Adult Coloring Book by Lynn Rees. First off, you can see by the cover how beautiful um, this artwork is. She colors in a few of them and she gives you some detailed um, uh, designs of hers. And it, it, they're just stunning. Look how beautiful they are. There are a few more examples um, that she colored in. I love them. I love how she uses all the colors mixed in. So bright and vivid. She has a little story of how she came to um, making a coloring book. And the white faces on here are just stunning. I love this one. It was my favorite, I think. Um, <clears throat> she says she used the Uni Posca white pen for all the white lines. Just gorgeous. The pictures are very, very detailed. <clears throat> Excuse me. They just scream bright colors. I mostly um, would recommend um, markers, things like that. I just think that they um, will work better for these detailed and the bright colors that you would want to use on something like this because of so many different little doodles and lines. It is very, very thin paper one-sided which is great it's not perforated there's just lots of faces and lots of big hair this is really cute the lines are nice you can see everything clearly which I love I mean her line art is just beautiful reminds me a lot of Mardi Gras down here in New Orleans. So pretty. This is one of the ones that she showed right here, how she colored it. When I tried it out, I didn't want to color one that she had already given an example of, so I just picked a totally different one. I love this one. I almost colored this one. And all the details, look, there's like a bird in here. Isn't that beautiful? She's gorgeous. Just page after page, you're just, they get more um, beautiful with each flip. I love, love, love this one. I'm like a really big fan of faces anyway, so this is right up my alley with the big hair. You just sit, you know, at night and get your little fine liners or whatever and doodle everything in. It's really, really cute. All the little braids. Oh, here's the one I colored. For this, I used um, mostly my Tombow markers. I used a lot of the brush ends on these. And then I would go back with the, um, what are these? the flare glitter pens to highlight a lot of the little areas and things. Um, for the face, I used Prima, Prima colors. Prima colors. Yeah, Prima colors. <laughs> um, I, I couldn't get the face to blend well. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's the paper. I don't know if I got something on it originally, but to me it looks a little scratchy right here. But it has nothing to do with the artist. It's just me. I couldn't. So if it looks a little scratchy, that was me trying to blend it out. I don't know. I wish on um, I wish on camera. Oh, maybe you can see a little bit of the shine because I put a lot of shiny details in there. Um, I also used a lot of the Jelly Roll, I think it's called the Stardust Glitter Pen. This is a great pen. I think I have a, yeah, this one. Stardust Clear Glitter Gel Pen. These are really cheap. Got it off Amazon. And that way, if you don't have a color, like I didn't have um, a certain color for this, I just did it in the clear one so you can have your shine even if you don't have that color gel pen. I, 
This one's really cute. I love the ponytail on this one. Beautiful. She did this one too, I think. And then the background, there's a couple extra pages, which I think is great because it's great for testing, which I should have done on mine. I kept coming over here and testing colors. But, um, yeah, this is a really, really great book. Nice and thick. Um, I can't find who the publisher is. If you like this book, I highly recommend it. I know you can get it off of Amazon. I will link it down at the bottom. And she does have a website and a blog. I will also link that down at the bottom. And I would really appreciate if you would like and subscribe. If you have any questions about the book or the artist, please let me know. Just um, message me and I'll get right back to you. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it.